out here, Chicano Park, San Diego, with Melin behind in his beautiful pink lowrider bomb. Just about to do a photo shoot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as you can see behind, very famous place, Chicago Park. Let's do this. I don't know if you guys can see the paint on here, but it's super, super sparkly. The sunshine out here in Chicano Park, San Diego. Just look at that sparkle, absolutely incredible. And then if you go to the hood, pinstriping, incredible work. Check that out. Super. So just check this out, what an incredible setup, beautifully executed, even the murals in the back, just absolutely incredible, just look at this work, did not expect to see this, I know the guys will be doing an amazing job of this and intriguing setup, will be different than those, but bloody amazing, great job man. So I've just stepped away from the car to get some shots. I've just gone through these uh, cacti kind of garden. And just back there you can see one of the guys is working out here. Such a cool dude, loves the car. He's going around and doing some Insta stories and God knows what else, taking loads of pictures. So I'm going to give him a chance to do that. And I'm trying to get a bit of a cool shot from behind the cacti to get that kind of three dimensional look with the cactus in front, behind of the car and everything. So uh, it's turned out really well. A lot of cars here, but we're getting the shots. Let's go. Beautifully executed. Check out the manifold, check out the firewall, the murals. Incredible work. Just a piece of art. This is the incredible car. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Magenta. Magenta? Yeah. Man, that's nice. San Diego with Melin with his 1936 Chevy bomb as you can see just behind us amazing ride and we just want to find out how did you get into low riding first and foremost I was pretty much born into it man um, my dad had a 1938 Plymouth uh, he bought it the year before I was born and uh, yeah man just cruised cruised with them ever since I was a little boy I have pictures of myself uh, sitting on his running boards um, just always with the dream of having my own bomb uh, Lowriders in general I love, but I'm more of a bomb person uh, because I was raised that way. So how did you come to acquire this one? I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, was it like this when you got it or did it have a whole restoration job going on? No, it was a full-on restoration. When I got it, it was just a frame and the shell. Um, no engine, no rims, no tight, no, no no nothing, no transmission, nothing. So, um, where did yeah, you, where we did you pick it up. Was it around this area? I picked it up here in San Diego. Really? Yeah, yeah. How did it come across? Did you drive down the road? You saw something? No, or? no, it was a trip. We were out uh, camping in the desert. Uh, we went uh, bike riding, and um, an uncle, the same guy that painted the car and did the murals. Uh, he asked, because I had this other project going on, it was a 1951 Chevy sedan delivery, and he asked me, uh, you know, what's up with the car? And I said, man, I think I'm gonna sell it. I don't like the way the build's coming around. Um, I, it wasn't to my liking anymore. And, and uh, I said, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start looking for what I wanted as a child, right? Uh, ever since I was 13, 14 years old, I wanted this particular car. And he said, uh, I know one. So I tattooed a guy the other week, and uh, and he's got one, man. I said, oh, 
let, let's go, man. So as soon as we came back from our from our camping trip, went to the guy's house, and, and uh, he was iffy on whether he wanted to sell it or not. Sure. Uh, so I said, here's a down payment. I'm coming tomorrow, man, before he could change his mind. That's cool. Um, but I still see the guy, and, and it's all good. You know, That's he nice. appreciates the car the way it looks now. And, uh, Amazing. He, he said he would have never gotten around to it anyway because he was working on two projects as well. That's cool. So he can appreciate what you've done. Yeah. And was the work done with yourself? Did you have some people helping you out? How did that yeah, I mean, this car couldn't have been complete. It, could, it wouldn't have looked the way it looked without the people that helped me do it. Yeah. Um, the hydraulics, my compadre, Carrot, um, and uh, my uncle that, that painted it. Uh, he painted it. Everything came at a super discounted price, and it was still very pricey. But uh, without the help of them, you know, and even the people that helped me build it—my dad, my uncle—it um, it wouldn't have looked the way it. That's the cool. way it looks. So you shared a little story with me a few moments ago about a special hat that's actually sitting in the back of your car. Tell me a little bit about that because that was really special to hear that from you. Yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me grab. Sure. It. So he's got this hat that's at the back of the car. It's got an incredible story, obviously about family. So I'll let um, Melina explain a little about this, but it, it really touches it. So this brim right here, um, it's way too small for me to try it on, but it would it belonged to my uncle, my uncle Cruz. Uh, we used to call him Tio Cui. Um, he had a 1964 Buick uh, Riviera. Always wore this man, and uh, you know he unfortunately got cancer and. Uh, I wasn't even halfway done with my car, and uh, he was like, "Man, I, I, I want to hold on so I can so I can cruise in your car, you know." Uh, unfortunately, uh, it didn't go that way. So you know, he passed, and I decided to keep this and uh, have it in my car. So so he's always uh, he's always with me. Most of the time, I cruise alone, but you know, I have his hat, and uh, and it's all good, man. He's he, he's with me. He's That's cruising. Amazing. That is super, so, man. And we appreciate your time today. No you know, problem. Beautiful car. Amazing stories. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, not a problem. Thanks. Cheers. Awesome.